Hey everybody, Mark Prater, Chief Meteorologist here at CBS 42. Want to remind you, you can get the Storm Track Weather app absolutely free at Google Play or the App Store. Get hour by hour forecasts, weather alerts, you can see the radar, and for free, you don't have to pay for it, you get the lightning detection and it will display where the lightning is happening at the time. And now that we're getting into the springtime, a lot of sports, practices, great app to have. And again, doesn't cost you a dime. Let's talk about Valentine's Day. On Sunday, we're looking at temperatures into the upper 30s at 10 o'clock. Then through the course of the day, we will have numbers warming up to around 50 for a high. It is going to be cloudy, though, for Sunday night. And that will be preceding the next chance of some rain. At this point, looking at some of the new model data, I'm just really having to watch to see if we'll have enough of that cold air at the right layer to get any sleet. I don't want to take it out of the forecast yet, but certainly the uh, potential of any wintry weather is looking smaller. Nothing happening across the southeast and our forecast temperatures tonight. Well, we are headed down into the 20s. It is going to be a cold one. Temperatures in some spots across our northern tier of counties already down into the low 20s as a cold front will come swinging through very quickly. Now, with that in mind, we'll have a few clouds with it, but no moisture to work with, so no potential for any precipitation or rain. And you'll see as we go through our Saturday, it looks good, but it is going to be a colder day. Highs into the upper 30s, maybe even a few mid-30s in our northern tier of counties, especially uh, up around 278. This will be an area that we will probably see temperatures into the mid-30s, so keep that in mind. And Sunday morning, we are looking at a very cold start. Upper teens, low 20s all across our viewing area, so get ready for that. And Sunday, there's the cloud cover building in for Valentine's Day, so we will uh, certainly have some clouds, but then the rain will begin after midnight into early on Monday, and Monday looks kind of like a soggy day. Some of you may be off for the holiday. It's Washington's birthday, and uh, we are looking at a federal holiday, holiday at least, so uh, some of you may have a short week next week. I'll have much more on the forecast and a little more detail on what you can expect in our Storm Track 7 day. All that's coming up at 5, 6, and 10, so be sure to join me on CBS 42. Have a great evening.